वेलकम दिस इज आर टॉप स्टोरी ऑफ दिस आर द फिफ्थ एक्यूज इन द पार्लियामेंट ब्रीच केस ललित झा हैज बीन अरेस्टेड फ्रॉम न्यू दिल्ली four others have been sent to seven days police custody and charged with uapa in fact lalit jha surrendered in front of the police my colleague uh, arvind gurusekar is with me on the phone line arvind what more do we know at this hour like according to our sources in the delhi police they have confirmed to us that the fifth accused in this particular case lalit jha has been uh, arrested by the delhi police Uh, we are not sure whether he himself turned up or whether the police uh, zeroed in on him and then uh, without having any other option to flee uh, lalit jha turned himself in turned himself uh, in uh, something that we have to con- get it confirmed from our sources but uh, for sure our sources have confirmed to us that lalit jha is in the custody of delhi police and he is currently being questioned by the delhi police special cell so almost five people came together of which four were arrested by delhi police of the four including uh, neelam and also uh, amol shinde both of them were arrested outside the parliament while two people saha sharma and uh, manoranjan both of them were arrested inside the fifth person who was with them that's lalitja who was on the run has finally been uh, arrested by the delhi police and is currently being questioned by the special cell of the delhi police well we are expecting more revelations uh, on this story on friday now earlier four accused in the case were produced in court and sent to police custody for 7 days for questioning while manoranjan and sagar sharma were arrested for breaking into lok sabha and jumping from the visitors gallery and opening smoke cans neela mazad and amol shinde were held for opening smoke canisters outside the parliament no smoke without fire and in the case of these youngsters behind the shocking wednesday attack on parliament the fire may have been ignited months ago these terror accused an engineer aspiring teacher an e-rickshaw driver and an ngo worker they have diverse profiles and backgrounds but the same aim for which they'd been meeting for more than a year now in the custody of the delhi police they've said they wanted to draw the government's attention to issues like unemployment inflation and the situation in manipur sources say the six accused all associated with a radical social media group first met in chandigarh during the farmers protest more than a year ago 9 months later they started planning the security breach the police after getting a legal opinion has also a slab uapa further investigation is currently on to nab the fifth one who is lalija who coordinated the entire thing also shot videos and then chatted with his friends so the police is trying to nab uh, lalija to see whether there is any other organization or any other handler who instigated this particular uh, group into this misguided extreme position that they took uh, inside the parliament itself but the spotlight is on this bjp mp from mysuru on whose passes the accused entered the parliament premises Sources say Simha's office has been in touch with the main accused Manoranjan for the past 3 months. In his meeting with the speaker, the journalist turned politician said he had no additional information about the accused, raising questions about negligence on the part of his office. BJP MP Pratap Simha has many questions to answer. The onus is entirely on his office as to why passes were given to the accused without thorough background checks. the fact that his office knew the accused well and that he visited this place multiple times in the past 3 months raises even more serious questions he is expected to join the investigation soon with the delhi police likely to record his statement in the next couple of days with arvind gurusekar and camera person ashwini mehra vedant for indi tv a day after the parliament security breach indi tv has accessed exclusive details of how the conspiracy played out the smoke bombs or canisters were sourced from latour the four individuals who carried out the two pronged attack inside and outside the parliament first met up in a house in gurugram and then a final meeting at india gate here's a report NDTV accesses parliament attack uh, plan details on the day of the security breach they accused all of them met at india gate where they discussed the execution of a plan that they had uh, you know been uh, thinking of over the last 9 uh, months
Neelam Singh Azad from Jind in Haryana, Amol Shinde from Latur in Maharashtra, Sagar Sharma from Lucknow in Uttar Pradesh, D. Manoranjan from Mysuru in Karnataka and Lalit Shah from Bengal. Five different people, five different backgrounds and uh, from five different states. These five people met at the India Gate shortly before they proceeded to the parliament and on uh, Wednesday um, morning they met here they had a meeting for half an hour in which they decided that Amol and Neelam will be outside the parliament remember there was another incident of protests involving colored uh, smoke bombs outside the parliament they also decided that Manuranjan and Sagar Sharma will go inside the parliament they had procured only two passes from the office of MP Pratap Simha uh, each of the four accused uh, were handed out uh, that uh, smoke bomb canister. Uh, they were all given that. Uh, do remember all four have now been arrested. Uh, that is where they were given the canisters. Those canisters were bought from Latour by Amol Shinde who was found outside the parliament. एक जो आरोपी है अमोल शिंदे वो लातूर जिले का है महाराष्ट्र के लातूर जिले का है कुरला स्टेशन का जिक्र इसलिए हो रहा है क्योंकि यही वो जगह बताई जा रही है जहां पर आ, सागर से अमोल की मुलाकात हुई थी और सागर ही वो आरोपी है वो शख्स है जिसने कलरफुल स्मोक बॉम्ब जो स्टिक्स थे आ, उसका इंतजाम किया था और आ, इसी जगह पर कुरला इलाके में ही उसने सागर को वो हैंड किया था जिससे फिर बाद में इंडिया गेट में सभी को बांटा गया फर्स्ट प्रोटेस्ट और सिक्योरिटी ब्रीच विद स्मोक कैनिस्टर्स कमिंग अप was here in outside parliament house at just near the whereabouts of transport bhavan the uh, neelam pande as well as anmol shinde uh, neelam from haryana anmol shinde from maharashtra bursting these smoke canisters there were one two three of them before they were taken away by the police and created a scene not realizing later on that this was a simultaneous approach of protesting even inside the house now uh, when they had gone inside they had hidden those canisters inside their shoes because a cavity was made inside the shoes at the time they had decided that they might throw those canisters but they decided them uh, to keep them in their hand in order to give out a message that the smoke bombs are harmless and they just want to highlight issues like unemployment and inflation which is what they had written on those pamphlets perhaps but they didn't get time to actually take those pamphlets out संसद हमले के जो पांचों आरोपी हैं वो गुरुग्राम के सेक्टर सात एक्सटेंशन के इसी घर में ये लोग रुके थे और ये बताया जा रहा है कि 10 तारीख को ये पांचों आरोपी जो है वो विशाल शर्मा और फबीकी के इस घर में रुके थे आप देखिए कि उसके बाद में गुरुग्राम पुलिस यहां पर तैनात है we are standing right outside million city center uh, formerly known as huda city center this is where Sagar Sharma, one of the main accused in the case, he used this metro to go to Anand Vihar, where he took uh, one of the passes that was used to get inside the parliament. And from there, he used Rajiv Chowk metro station to go to Sadar Bazar. On the day of the attack, uh, the uh, Sagar Sharma went and bought flags of India from the Delhi Kant area as well as Sadar Bazaar. Do remember in the morning at about 5.30, he had left Gurugram, the house at which all the accused were staying. Uh, from there, he went uh, to get his Aadhaar card uh, from Anand Vihar. From Anand Vihar, he went to Rajiv Chowk. From there, he went to Sadar Bazaar, bought those flags and uh, then went to India Gate in order to discuss the last minute details uh, that was discussed at India Gate. The Ministry of Home Affairs has ordered a high-level inquiry into security labs where two men managed to breach security layers in the parliament. Focus of this committee would be uh, how this breach got executed and what steps now need to be taken. Right in the heart of Latian zone, India's parliament, considered the safest building in the country. When in August this year, the new Sansad building was inaugurated by the Prime Minister, as many as six security layers were put in place. So how was the security breached yesterday? That's what a high-level team will investigate. NDTV has found out only 200 of the usual 300 guards were deployed on Wednesday. The probe will find out if SPG was consulted in decision to lower the height of the visitors gallery from 30 feet in the old building to 11 feet now. How did the two men manage to jump in when there are always two marshals in the visitors gallery? Look, 
सुरक्षा में जो चूक हुई है उसकी गंभीरता पूर्वक जांच हो रही है कार्यवाही हो रही है और जहां तक गृह मंत्री जी के जवाब देने का सवाल है वो समय पर सदन में आकर के जवाब भी देंगे द प्रूफ विल ऑल्सो लुक इन टू हाउ एम पी रिकमेंड पासिस फॉर विजिटर्स मैं समझता हूँ की भविष्य में हम सारे सांसद सभी को सावधानी बरतने की आवश्यकता है जिनको भी हम पास देते हैं ऐसे व्यक्ति को पास न दिया जाए जो जाकर इस प्रकार की अराजक स्थिति संसद भवन के अंदर पैदा कर दे इन 2001 व्हेन पार्लियामेंट वाज अटैक टेररिस्ट मैनेज टू गेन एक्सेस इनसाइड पार्लियामेंट बिल्डिंग थ्रू दिस गेट बट दिस टाइम व्हेन द सिक्योरिटी लैब्स टुक प्लेस एक्यूज हैड हिड दैट स्मोक कैनिस्टर इन दे शूज एंड दैट इज वाई इट सीम्स दैट अनादर सिक्योरिटी लेयर माइट बी एडेड टू द ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग सिक्योरिटी स्ट्रक्चर Security infrastructure at new building is still a work in progress. A day before attack, the CPWD had tenders for additional security infrastructure, including gadgets and bulletproof barriers for the parliament complex. In New Delhi, this is Neeta Sharma reporting for NDTV. Now, the latest flash point between the opposition and the government over the parliament security breach. The opposition slammed the BJP government for suspending. 14 opposition MPs, 13 in Lok Sabha, one in Rajya Sabha, over their demand for a statement by Home Minister Amit Shah on the security breach. Congress called the suspension a horrible, undemocratic move. Malikarjun Kharge has written to the Rajya Sabha chairman saying the parliament breach unparalleled and to allow a discussion on it. The Trinamool Congress questioned why no action against BJP MP Pratap Sinha. while uh, the congress demanded his expulsion the speaker sahab ne prastav rakha ki is naya sadan mein hum pura ek naya soch se naya vichar se hum shuru karenge isliye koi bhi isme play card jo hindi mein tattiya bolte hain wo to nahi lana hai agar laate hain to turant karwai hoga speaker sahab ne jo nirnay kiya tha to uske ullangan karke प्ले कार्ड लेके वेल में आए हैं इसलिए तेरह एम पी ओ का सस्पेंशन आज हुआ है वी आर आस्किंग फॉर अ डिस्कशन देन वी आर आस्किंग फॉर द गवर्नमेंट टू रेस्पॉन्ड एंड दे डोंट रेस्पॉन्ड वी हैव टू डिस्टर्ब द हाउस वॉट चॉइस डू वी हैव एंड वेन वी प्रोटेस्ट एंड वी वॉन्ट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड द होम मिनिस्टर टू कम एंड गिव अ स्टेटमेंट इन द हाउस दे आर नॉट प्रिपेयर टू डू दैट एंड वेन वी प्रोटेस्ट दे आर सस्पेंडिंग ऑल द ऑपोजिशन एम पीज Well, time now for a quick break on the show. More on the other side. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Supreme Court to take up TMC leader Mahomaitra's plea challenging her Lok Sabha expulsion on Friday. Remember last week the TMC leader was expelled from Lok Sabha in connection uh, with the cash for query scandal. There were allegations that she took gifts and favors from industrialist Darshan Hiranandani to post questions on the parliament website. Mahua has admitted sharing her parliament login. with hiranandani but denied taking any gifts or being influenced to post questions on his behalf the parliament ethics panel which probed the charges and recommended her expulsion and also sought a detailed probe from the government over money trail more cash has been found uh, with congress uh, mp dheeraj sahu but this time at his relatives premises in odisha Uh, in fact uh, the raids have been taking place for the last 9 days uh, the tax department has been raiding several premises in uh, odisha earlier 351 crore cash was recovered in the income tax department's raids uh, in jharkhand and odisha and 3 kilograms of gold ornaments were also recovered Stern observations from the National Green Tri- Tribunal on that enormous sheet of oil that came along with flood waters in Chennai which has caused considerable damage to the eco-sensitive Ennore Creek area the court slammed the slow mitigation efforts by Chennai Petrochemical Corporation NGT in fact on Thursday asked why more skimmers and oil suckers were not employed and warned of strict action
the National Green Tribunal categorically expressed its disappointment with the slow mitigation efforts by Chennai Petrochemical Corporation CPCL, which operates the refinery from which the oil spill originated during last week's floods. Warning of stringent action for delay in cleaning up, the tribunal today questioned why more skimmers, gully suckers and boomers have not been deployed to clear this enormous sheet of oil that has spread up to 20 kilometers into the sea and has damaged the eco-sensitive Ennur Creek area. Many call this as a pathetic response because the CPCL, which the Tamil Nadu Pollution Control Board has blamed to have been responsible for this oil spill has not deployed any technology but it has commissioned fishermen to manually collect the oil spill and take them in these containers. CPCL has deployed 75 fishing boats and 300 people and with those like Suresh a fisherman to clean the mess but it's simply not enough. <laughs> I think that the maximum damage is likely to be done inside the contained uh, the system of the uh, river and the estuary. And the river and estuary happen to be the most productive parts of the um, you know, marine ecosystem. Today CPCL assured the tribunal that 95% of oil will be removed by Sunday and listed its containment measures. A week after this disaster, the exact quantum of this oil spill is yet to be assessed amid worries of loss of livelihood for fishermen and damages to this sensitive ecosystem. But the big question, will anyone be held accountable for this? At the Inner Creek with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Find the TV. Some cricket news now. IPL season 17 auction is round the corner as the team set, uh, get set for hectic rounds of buying and selling on the 19th of December in Dubai. A news has emerged that the billion dollar league is now a decacon. Good news coming in from the world of IPL. The league is now a decacon. What does a decacorn mean? A privately owned company that's valued above 10 billion US dollars is called a decacorn. And IPL's valuation has gone north. Uh, its, va its valuation now stands around 90,000 crores. It increased by 28% since 2022. The total value of the league has risen by 433% since inception in 2008. And all of this data has been given to us by a brand valuation company called Finance Reveals. Now what has contributed to IPL's growth? Let's have a look. 48,390 crore rupees from the media rights deal. In addition, IPL has also got 12,715 crore rupees uh, for the two new franchises, which are Lucknow and Ahmedabad. Now, IPL teams uh, are also playing in other leagues and they get additional revenue of approximately 8,332 uh, two crore rupees in terms of brand value when they play in the other leagues and these are the teams that typically appear in the other leagues Mumbai, Kolkata, Delhi, Chennai, Lucknow, Hyderabad and Rajasthan. So good news overall with IPL auctions round the corner.